Of all the things you expect to be able to make at home, plastic probably isn't one of them. But Val here assures me that it is possible. Absolutely, Caroline. It's possible to make plastic in your own home. And I'm going to show you how. So we're in the kitchen. Val, what should we do? Well, it's really easy. All we need for this experiment is essentially milk and vinegar. OK, well, I have milk here and some vinegar. That's great. So um, let's uh, pour the milk into that jug. We need about a litre. We're using whole milk here, but what's important about the milk is the protein in it. So it doesn't matter what kind of milk you use here. Okay. That's great. So now next we're going to uh, um, use about four tablespoons of vinegar. Right. Now what we're going to be doing with the vinegar later is uh, once the milk's heated up, we'll be adding the vinegar uh, in and then we'll see what happens. That's the crucial thing to this experiment and to the reaction that we're going to see happening later on. Okay, so what should I do first? So um, let's um, pour the milk into the pan and then we'll, uh, we'll get that heated up and then once that's nice and warm, we'll add in the vinegar and see what happens. Okay. So we'll just leave that now for a couple of minutes. Um, we want it to be warm but not boiling. So let's do something else. So this looks about ready. It's warm but it's not boiling. Belle, what do we do next? We'll turn the heat off and uh, next we'll um, add in the vinegar. So it's going in. Do I stir it now? Yep, give it a good stir. That's it. Now, almost instantly, you should start to see... Oh, I can see it already. The, um, <laughs> see those globs forming there? It's like it's curdling right before my eyes. That's right. Oh, look at those chunks. That's fantastic. You can see those gloops really separating out from the rest of the milk. Wow, what a reaction. Well, that looks really disgusting. What should we do with it next? OK, the next thing we want to do is to separate um, the goops out from the rest of the liquid. So we've got a sieve here, so let's um, pour it out gently through this. Well, let's try not to spill it. So here goes. That's it, gently. Oh, look at that. So what we're doing here is we're separating out the solids from that liquid here. And we'll give it a good strain. And, uh, and then we'll, we'll go on to the next stage where we actually form the plastic itself. Well, I'm not convinced about putting my hands in this, so uh, I'll let you go first. Go show me how it's done. Go on, Caroline. It looks a bit like cottage cheese at the moment, but get your hands in there. <laughs> I'll do the same. Okay. What we've got, this is, this is what we, we made earlier, and if we just squeeze it in between our hands like that and start Ooh. to mould it, see how you can uh, make shapes from it? It's kind of actually coming together, kind of like dough. It is, almost. yeah, and so, so you can uh, make any type of shape that, that you like from it. And you know how you were, you were saying it was like cottage cheese earlier? Mm -hmm. Well, did you know that this is exactly how paneers made? <laughs> So what exactly is going on here? This was milk not that long ago, so what's happened to it to turn it into this stuff? OK, well, the science behind this is, is actually pretty simple. Milk contains a protein called casein, which is insoluble in acid. So when we added the vinegar to the milk and made it acidic, then the casein molecules precipitated out and uh, they turned into these gloops that we have now. So how is this like plastic? Well, the casein molecule is a long chain molecule and it's very similar to the long chain polymers that you find in plastics themselves. Oh, OK. And so this is becoming more and more, as I'm playing with it and it's drying out a bit, becoming more and more springy like plastic. So thanks, Val, for telling us about that. And here's where to find out more about this and plenty of other science that you can do at home.